What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Alice. Please don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. If you're not new, welcome back. So today I was feeling like having some delicious bread, but I didn't want to leave the house, so I decided to make it myself. Yes, today we're gonna make French baguette. This recipe, it's super easy. It's super fast because you're gonna have a fresh bread in less than three hours. I know, crazy. You don't have to leave the house. You can stay in your comfy pajama and make this delicious bread. And you're only gonna need five simple ingredients that you probably have already in your house. So let's get to the ingredients. What you're gonna need is all-purpose flour, salt, sugar, dry yeast, and warm water, that's it. You don't need any fancy equipment to make this dough to you. Everything is gonna be mixed in one bowl with a wooden spoon. You don't have to worry about kneading the dough for like minutes and minutes. So you just do it like for 30 seconds really quickly. And that is it for the bread. Super easy, super delicious. The crust is nice and crunchy. The inside is super fluffy and soft. You're gonna love it. Your family gonna love it. And it's so, so easy to make. And you can also storage the baguettes once they're cooked in a Ziploc bag. You can put it in the freezer so you can make a double batch. And you can just pop it out of the freezer, put it in the oven, warm it up, and you're gonna have fresh bread every single day without leaving the house and without breaking the bank because it's super cheap and super easy. So let's get to make the bread, shall we? So first thing that you're gonna do, you're gonna put your salt into the flour, the sugar as well, and you're gonna mix it all together. <laughs> you're gonna add your dry yeast, mix that in as well. And then slowly you're gonna add your water and mix. Again, like all my recipe, all the amount for the ingredients, I'm gonna be listing in the description box down below, as well as my Instagram page. So don't forget to check it out because I'm gonna post a lot of picture about bread and all the dessert that I'm making on my channel and all the different recipe. Make sure also that your water is not too, too hot. It has to be warm room temperature or you're gonna kill the yeast and you don't wanna do that. And then after you add all your water, you're just gonna mix it until it's all the ingredients are well combined. But there, it doesn't, it's not gonna look like um, um, solid dough is gonna be pretty wet, but that's what we want for the recipe. So this is the result after literally mixing all my ingredients together for 30 seconds. It's very sticky, so do not try to mix this type of dough with your hands because it's gonna get everywhere. Just use a wooden spoon and that will do the job. Now what you're gonna do, you gotta cover it with plastic wrap. Make sure it's nice and tight. Then you're gonna grab your towel, you're gonna cover it up. And as you can see in the back here, I have some water boiling. We're gonna put the dough in the oven and we're gonna put the water under the dough. We're gonna close the oven make sure the oven is off and we're gonna let the dough rise for 45 minutes and then we're gonna be back for the next step so after 45 minutes of let the dough rest this is the result and you're gonna do the first fold so here i have a spatula and a little bit of water and you're gonna make sure that your spatula is always wet so the dough is not gonna stick and what you're gonna do you just like Pull your dough towards the middle, move the bowl, rotate the dough bowl, and pull. And always wet your spatula before you do that. And you're gonna do this for three times. 
Then you're gonna put the plastic back on. And you're gonna let it rise in the oven again with the boiling water underneath for another 30 minutes. So this is the result after half an hour and the first three folds. Now we're gonna fold the dough again for three times and we're gonna use the same method. We're gonna wet our spatula and we're just gonna pull our dough and turn our bowl. Wet the spatula, pull the dough, turn the bowl. Then you're gonna do this for three times again. Then we're gonna put our plastic back on. And we're gonna put it back in the oven to let it rise for another 30 minutes with the boiling water underneath again. So this is the result after the second half hour that we let the dough rise and now it's time to do six fold and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So first thing you gotta do, you gotta move your dough aside and you're gonna sprinkle your table with just some plain flour. Make sure it's nice and dusted, the table. And now with a spatula, you just gonna Throw your dough on the table. Then when you end, when once you have the dough on the table, you're gonna dust the surface of your dough as well. And you are gonna start to do the first two folds. So you're gonna flat the dough. And you're gonna grab it, fold. Grab it again and fold. Then you're gonna turn your dough. You're gonna flat them again. And you're gonna do the third and the fourth fold. Then you're gonna turn your dough again. You're gonna flat them. And at this point, your dough should be very, very elastic and kind of hard to work so you're just gonna pull a little bit while you're flatten and if it gets sticky just add a little bit more flour and then you're gonna do the fifth and the sixth fold this and this and then you're gonna flip your dough and make sure the fold is stays underneath Then you're gonna grab a sharp knife. You're gonna cut your dough in half. You're gonna put one half at a side. You're gonna flour this part. As you can see, you can see all the fold that we did. And then you're gonna divide this in half again. And then half again. So with this amount of ingredients, you're gonna get eight small baguettes. And you're gonna put it on the side and you're gonna do the same thing with the other half of the dough. Okay, now it's time to do four more folds on your little pieces of dough. Again, put a little bit of flour, you flatten the dough, you're gonna fold and fold. Then you flat them again and you're gonna fold on the tray that I previously dusted with a little bit of flour. You're just gonna place it on it and you're gonna do the same thing with the rest of your dough. Once you're done all your fold, what are you gonna do? You're gonna place your dough on the tray covered with parchment paper and flour, and then you're gonna dust the surface of the dough with flour again and cover it with parchment, with the plastic wrap. And then we're gonna put it back in the oven with the boiling water underneath to let it rise for another 20 minutes. So after 20 minutes, this is the result. They're nice and fluffy. Now we're gonna roll it in baguettes form. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna dust your surface again 
you're gonna grab one of the dough and you're gonna make it flat again. And you're gonna pull a little bit. Okay, once you have this length, you're gonna start rolling your dough. Pretty tight. Like so. You're gonna move it aside and then you're gonna do the same thing with the rest of the dough. Once you roll all your baguettes, you're just gonna put it back on the same tray to maybe add a little bit more flour. You're gonna put the baguettes on the tray and then you sprinkle a little bit more flour on top. Then you're gonna cover it with a little bit more plastic. And after you cover it with plastic, you're gonna put a towel over top and you're gonna let it rest on the counter for another 20 minutes. In the meantime, you're gonna preheat your oven at 400 and you're gonna leave the little pot with water inside the oven. The reason why is because it's gonna help make the crust super, super crunchy. So make sure that your pot is made totally of stainless steel or aluminum. So there's no part that can melt in the oven. We're gonna be back before we put this bad boys in the oven. So after 20 minutes, this is the result. What you're gonna do, you're gonna make some cuts with a very uh, sharp knife. You're gonna go diagonal. And you're gonna make some incision in the dough. I'm gonna do three. Be very gentle. And you don't have to go very deep, just on the surface. So when the baguette cooks, it can open a little bit. Once you're done your cut, I have a little bit of a warm water here. And with my brush, I'm just gonna brush the surface. In the meantime, I have my oven preheating at 400 Fahrenheit. And like I said, I left my water inside because the water is gonna make the crust really, really crunchy. So I'm gonna brush them. And then I'm gonna bake my baguettes for about 15 to 20 minutes or until it's nice and golden brown. All right, you guys, my bread has finished to bake it. I literally bake it for 20 minutes and then I let it cool it down for another like 20 to 30 minutes. It's still a little bit warm and I decide to set up for you guys a little bit uh, a aperitivo board. I have a nice glass of wine, a little bit of prosciutto crudo, some black olives, cherry tomato, and this beautiful bread. Look how beautiful is this bread. It's so crunchy, but soft. And like, as you can see, when I press it down, it comes right up. But that means that, that it, the yeast did the right job. We let it like rise properly. All the temperature were all right. And these are my baguettes. Look out, can you hear the crunch? So, so beautiful. This is what it looks in on the inside. It's super light and fluffy, like big bubbles mixed with small bubbles. Super, super nice. Just wanna like rip one open. Look how beautiful. So nice. And now the best part. I'm gonna do some taste tests. Of course, I have a little bit of wine here. I think it's a Pinot Grigio. No, it's a Chardonnay. Really, really good. I love white wine, it's my favorite, so. Cheers, oh my God, that's so good. I just wanna try it by itself first. Mmm. I love bread so much. Mmm. It literally tastes like the baguette that you buy at the bakery, but you made it yourself. And you see how easy it was? 
the only thing is you have to do all those fold because that incorporate air and those layers make the bread super super soft light and fluffy and the water thing it makes the i know it's weird because you were thinking humidity how the humidity makes the crust nice and crunchy i don't know it does it it does it so like putting water inside the oven it keeps your bread nice and moist on the inside but it creates a nice golden brown crust super crunchy super delicious and i'm gonna have a little bit of prosciutto crudo because why not right wrap it around around your bread mm. Mm -mm -mm. i feel like i'm in italy Picture this, you're in Italy, in front of the sea, you're having a nice cold glass of wine, and you're having your charcuterie board with a little prosciutto, olives, and your fresh baked bread. Nothing get better than this. I hope you enjoy spending time with me. I hope you're gonna recreate this recipe because it's so easy, but so delicious. Like I said, my recipe are super easy, as long as you follow all the steps, everybody can make delicious food. Trust me, I'm nothing special. Like I said, I hope you enjoy spending time with me. Make sure if you recreate this recipe, tag me on Instagram with the picture of all, all your creation because that will make my day. And until next time, I'll see you soon, my beautiful people. Bye, love you.